What's up, machines and machine freaks? We got some beautiful weather in New York State. I got my buddy Jason here. He's cleaning up the radiator, making it look real good. Oh, yeah. Looks like you can hook the fan and everything. We're going to hopefully get this thing back up and running. Hey, you want to watch this thing while you're at it? So the next race is only a few days away. It's the 26th. If you want to come out and see me race, come out. Um, all the info will be in the comment section. We had a good time last time. I made it halfway through the race. The power steering kind of went. We lost our sway bar end links in the back here so i cut way way beefier ones those are all set but what we want to do is to make this thing a little cooler and prevent the radiator from getting absolutely caked with mud in the front end we're going to relocate it back here so we have a small parts list and we have a mission let's start this 3d machines production we're heading down to the store we're going to pick up some parts we've got a huge part list that we're doing uh, jason wants to do something with the you got, you got the horn going now he wants to possibly get the radio or the radio going hopefully yeah the radio and then I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna fab up that radiator housing thing. We don't need to get the radio done, but if we get the radiator done, then we can go for a rip. We got that chainsaw running so we could even make some new trails. Call up Jake, he's got brand new tires so he could go for a rip as well. So today could potentially be awesome, but if it's uh, 3D Machines, it's chaos. There's a copy, I gotta put you down. Clearing them out. We're back from the local Napa. I'm going to work on the radiator. Jason, what are you gonna work on? The electric. The electric. At the last race, we put the kill switch right on top of this this panel right here. It's, it's obviously not there right now, but it's set like right here. The tech inspection says, well, the tech inspector says that he wants it right here or somewhere in this vicinity. I see a lot of people have them right here, so that's where I'm going to put mine. In relation to where this plastic actually sits, it's going to sit right there, right by the Crush logo. Jason and I have put our two heads together and have come up with a design better than the ones that we have seen. And then heck, if we can produce these things, we'll produce them. We'll make like 10 of them and put them on machinemerch.com. But before we put them on machinemerch.com, we have to make the prototype. That's what I am doing. It's been a second and we got a quite a bit accomplished. Jason's been taking care of the electrical on this end. I've been taking care of the welding on this end. And as you can see, I have something going on back here. I got three pieces welded here. I got two other pieces cut and notched here. So it'll kind of sit at that angle right there, which will allow the air to hit the radiator, disperse across the surface, and keep this thing cool. I originally told Jason that I wanted this radiator right up tight to the this piece of plastic right down there. You can see there's probably about two and a half inches of gap. If I did put that right tight to the plastic, then the radiator, the radiator wouldn't be able to breathe as much on the bottom part. What's gotta happen right now is we have to elongate the wire that's going Going from the original connection that went to the radiator and take that all the way back to the new location of the radiator so now we have to go down in there next to the transmission and come back up and we're also gonna have to do that with the overflow tube I kind of got slightly flustered and uh, hit my well I guess what happened was I hit my head on this thing. You don't see this little tab that hangs on to the, the window net right here. You only see this big piece of steel. You're not looking for this little thing. Well, I bashed my, well, I, I guess actually right here because this part still hurts. So I flipped out. I mean, got a little flustered and then start punching this really hard. Then I opened up my knuckle. I mean, not really hard, but enough to do that. Now this bracket right here, I have this tacked up. So this has a whole bunch of strength when you push it towards Jason. It's not going anywhere, but the thing is, is if you want to pull it back just a little bit, what happens is those two holes that the, uh, the original brackets are in, you can see how that goes up. That's no good, so we got to prevent that from happening. So I'm thinking I'll go from this portion of the frame and then tie into this existing hole, and of course on that side as well. I texted Jake a little bit ago. I asked him if he wanted to go riding. I don't know if we're going to get this done or not, but he says, yeah, probably. I just want to take a look at my bike first, because you guys saw yesterday, his bike doesn't really want to idle right now. I don't know if it's putting out too much horsepower or if Jake's just beating it or if, you know, dirt gets in places and then it doesn't run right. He says he wants to see what exactly is making it run poopy. Those are his exact words. Making it run poopy? Yeah, do you have a problem with the way Jake the Toilet Snake talks? Jake the Toilet Snake is an OG. Is an OG. Yeah, he's the man. Oh, yeah? He's the original Toilet Snake. I bet. <laughs> Check this out. Jason got the radio working! Woohoohoo! Oh, but I, uh, I, I pushed wrong. So, Crush is definitely moving forward here. We got some tunes. We got our new radiator mount. We're running our lines right now. Just making a few cuts. Oh, got the horn working too. And after that, we'll be able to, like, go for a spin. 
while jamming out, while jamming out. It's amazing to see what three pieces of plastic do to the look of this front end. It looks like Jason and I will have time to take this thing off a rip. Haven't heard from Jake yet, but uh, he was just dealing with a carburetor issue. At least that's what we think it is. So hopefully we hear from him because I'd like to go for a rip with the, my three amigos. But anyways, we're gonna keep on doing this. We're gonna keep this piece of plastic off though so that we can get to the overflow. Uh, we also have to bleed the system. And then just put our seat in for the thousandth time. That kill switch is in the perfect position. You know, that, that would be good for, you know, the passenger of another vehicle to just come up next to you and be like, yeah, ready? Have you ever done that to somebody when you're riding bike with them? No. Really? No. Oh, okay, I'll have to do that to you. I've, <laughs> I've had that done to me on the bike and the snowmobile. What the hell's going on? I'm concerned that, uh... Well, we did, we have been around with the electric quite a bit. Let the bleeding begin. We did have one leg right off the mat. Hopefully, uh, another hose clamp fixes that. Jason put some heat tape on there as well, because we're right next to the muffler there, the header. Once we put the back piece of plastic there where we sit, we're gonna, we're gonna tie it to that. So that way it's gonna be further from the header. It's not gonna be that close right now. It's probably two inches. It'll probably be three or four when we're done. See any leaks? Oh uh, yeah. She's got the good vibrations. Yeah. We just ran Crush, and unfortunately Crush is in winter mode. And what I mean by that is this fan, the fan that's on the back of the radiator, is blowing that way. Now if you can't help but notice, Jason's sitting right there. I usually sit right there. And then the victim, I mean passenger, usually sits right there. So what's happening is the fan is blowing the radiator into the cab. Which is a very, very good thing if it was winter outside and it was snowing outside. But right now, it's, it's beautiful. I don't think we really care for extra heat, so Jason's gonna wire it so that uh, it's not going to do that anymore. It's going to spin the opposite way. It's going to suck the hot air out that way. Just like the oncoming air, Crush throws out of its way. Because Crush has no problem doing that. That was quick, Jason already did it. It's sucking the air right out of that thing. I'm sorry I missed the shot. It was really, really spinning quick because it's a variable fan. So what that means is it spins slow when it's not so hot. It spins faster when it's really hot. The, the breeze was blowing through my hair. It was looking fly, it was looking froggy fresh. I missed the shot, I'm sorry. We are loaded for bear, Crush is back there. We're gonna go to my grandmother's property, the usual place to go. Test them out. New radiator, new radio. I haven't tested the new swing arm end link, so this thing is like a whole new machine, really. You can submit the video to Yamaha, but they never show it because they don't want their customer driving like this. <laughs>
take that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sliding everywhere. I'm very impressed with the ride. I had a lot of fun with the ride, but look at look at the radiator. There is nothing on this thing. There's there's mud everywhere else. You can clearly see, but when it comes to the radiator, there's nothing on there. And then we got the orange sky to go with Crush. Oh man, today was a good day. Mm -hmm. Jason, we kicked the absolute butt, dude. Absolute butt. Radar links are uh, still intact. Yeah, oh really? Yeah. Are you? I was kind of nervous about those. You know how scrawny they are. Oh wow, they actually held. Because I'm sure the other ones had nothing to do with the driver. <laughs> it looks like the radiator relocate prototype did good. I, I definitely think I'm going to make like 10 of these and put them on machineworks.com. Don't know when, maybe in the next few days, maybe not. We got to finish this one though. Right now it's just bare steel, we'll powder coat it so it lasts forever. But yeah, this probably won't even be the one we run. It'll probably be a brand new one. Just gotta tweak a couple things. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Hit that like button, stay froggy fresh, stay super fly, get a little dirty. Until next time, Jason and 3D Machines out. Take care. Bye.